about like my hair care routine everything that I'm doing to get my hair back to a good place after like my cancer the chemo I've also gone into menopause so that affects like your your hair thickness so I've been really trying to take care of all my hair so I'm getting loads of questions about that so I opened the hairdressers and got a bit of a new a little a bit of a new style so I've gone super dark again I've got rid of my balayage and I've been wearing this kind of like cute like natural kind of like 90s just easy look every day for my hair so I thought I'd do a little updated kind of hair care routine styling routine and I also have an amazing new product that I wanted to share with you because it's been a game changer in let me know what you think of the new hair in the comments if you're not already make sure you go and subscribe and come and follow me on instagram and tiktok also for tons more like beauty fashion and vlog stuff over there so let's get into the video i thought it's about time i filmed that video because so many of you've been asking since i've been having my hair extensions out since my hair's been shorter and also since i've been looking after my hair so much more um loads of you have been wanting to know like what i've been using how i'm styling it and things like that i've actually been using a brand new product as well that i can't wait to share with you because they call this product the Tesla of hair dryers. It is £329 here in the UK and I was so excited to get one and try it out and test it and it has become one of my absolute favourite, favourite hair products. It has shaved so much time off my hair care routine, off my getting ready in the morning and um, yeah, I thought it'd be really good just to do a video and a review and tell you all about it. I've just had, had a shower and got ready and put my hair up in my towel hair scrunchie. Um, so it's still pretty wet. So this is the hair dryer that I've been testing out over the last couple of months. So this is the hair dryer that I have been testing out. It's called the Zuvi Halo hair dryer. The reason I was drawn to this hair dryer in the first place is because it is so much better for your hair. So as a normal hair dryer will blast heat onto your hair, drying out the whole of your strand of your hair right through to the center, then damages your hair, fries it, makes it frizzy. Um, this hair dryer has a completely different technique when it comes to drying. So not only does it use a cooler temperature to dry your hair, but this mirrored section here emits light. So it dries your hair the same way as if you were going out for a walk on a sunny day and you were letting it air dry and the sun was drying it naturally. So it only dries the outer part of your hair leaving the inner part super hydrated, healthier, shinier, less frizzy. And it dries your hair so much quicker. So as a busy mom, I was like, I feel like this is a hair dryer I need. That extra layer of care into my hair care routine because I'm doing so much from scalp treatments to really good hair care products, massaging my scalp, overnight masks, all of that stuff. And then I was undoing all that by using my other hair dryer and absolutely baking, frying and damaging my hair. The thing I loved about this hair dryer is it uses less energy. So it uses roughly about 60% less energy than your regular hair dryer. So it's not only amazing for your hair, but it's also really good for the environment too, which I like to do my best with every little bit that I can. And it makes your hair less frizzy, which is one of the problems I always used to have when I was drying my hair because it would always go super frizzy because I was obviously just absolutely frying and frizzling my hair, but with this, it doesn't. Let me switch it on and show you. It has four different speeds. So it has care, you see? It has care, fast, soft and style and it also has different attachments so you can use it like this 
to get the best benefits from the mirrored like light section of it. Also use this attachment if you've got sensitive scalp, it will, it will disperse the air more generously so it's just a bit more soft on your sensitive scalp. And then you can use this adapter for styling if you want it super sleek and straight. And also it has a diffuser for if you have curly hair as well. So we've used this on Effie. My daughter Effie has super curly hair and we've used this and it was absolutely fab. She loved it. So if you want me to do a video on that and show you how we use it on her hair, let me know in the comments. I like to use it just without anything on. I don't have a sensitive scalp and I like to get it as dry as quickly as possible. So let me show you. So my hair is like towel dry damp. So I'm trying to get as much volume into my hair as possible at the moment and get a bit of a like bouncy, flicky kind of 90s vibe. So I've been using this root spray, it's the GHD one. So I pop that all over my hair. I did actually put some heat protectant on when I got out of the shower as well. And then I also have been using this, it is the volume and bounce mousse from Charles Worthington and I just pop a little bit of that also through my roots just to try and get as much volume as possible when I dry and then I really just rough dry it as much as I can. But I like to use this brush at the moment it is a natural bamboo brush so I use this pretty much for everything at the moment, my hair. Because it's bamboo, it's really good at stimulating the hair follicles on your hair and promoting more growth. I've got hair on my face. Um, so yeah, I like to use this, brush it up while I'm drying and just get as much volume in there as possible. So let me show you, I'm gonna do this on real time so you can see, so you can see how quick it is. So so I'm going to put it on to fast. dry and then go in with the styler just to get it nice and smooth so I change the setting to style and usually at this point my hair would be so frizzy I would literally have a ring of frizz so use it so using the Zuvu basically means that I don't have to style it much, like unless I'm really going somewhere. I go in now with this other brush just to tame any flyaways. This is just a natural boars brush hair. It's like a smoothing brush. But my hair just feels like doesn't feel frizzy and completely dried out. So I've just been using this hairspray lately. It's this L'Oreal professional one. Um, it's really good. So I so if I'm not doing anything or going anywhere, I would just leave my hair naturally just like this and put no other heat on it. It just feels so much thicker and healthier after using the hair dryer. And then I like the way that it will just like go in its natural own way, some little flicks. I like a little kind of crazy like chucked over side part at the moment. But I hope you can see like how much thicker and healthier my hair is getting, the more care I take with it. So, I mean, compared to how it was, I'm gonna insert a picture actually here of how my hair was before I started doing all my hair care. You can really see the difference. Like it's so much like, it's just thickened out so much here and all around the front. There's not really breakage. There's no like breakages off on the side of my face. So I'm hoping now, on top of everything else that I've been doing, it's just gonna make it even better. So yeah, most days I will just leave my hair like this, or if I'm gonna, if I'm going out somewhere, I'm gonna show you what I would do just to zhuzh it up and make it a little bit more styled. 
rather than going for this natural look. So if I am going to be going out, I will also literally just curl the ends. I really like this look at the moment where it's just like pretty much straight and then the, the ends kind of like curled that tiny little bit. So because my hair is already not frizzy, thanks to the hair dryer, then I only, I can just go in and do these ends and it's super oh, I love the way the curls just like make the bottom look a bit thicker. The hair dryer just gives me that smooth look without having to put straightness through the top. And I feel like it's just like a really easy, like kind of like 90s, classy, classic kind of hairstyle. It's my favorite at the moment. I really like doing this as well, like getting a few little pieces and just like popping those back as well or even just a bubble it looks super cute if you want to do like a little half up half down and leave these curly bits down as well so basically my opinion on the zuvi is it worth the 300 pounds price tag for me 100 percent yes i've been investing in my hair so so much lately now this is that final piece of the puzzle that is going to just just add that extra layer so make sure you are subscribed because I'm going to be doing tons of more hair updates as my hair growth journey progresses. Um, the Zuvi is linked in the description box for you. I think it's so worth the money and will make an amazing Christmas or birthday gift or just a gift to yourself. And um, if there's any other beauty, hair or fashion related videos that you want, let me know in the comments and I'll make sure I film them for you in the next few weeks. So see you soon girls. Love you all. Bye.